Welcome to Bud Tending, medical marijuana dispensary management and strain identification. Great, and nice and healthy. Jason is well known in Southern California as the Bud Whisperer. The flower itself hasn't been burned, it's just been coming through the leaves. Jason encourages Bud Tenders to play What Is It? A guessing game. It's one of my favorite strains. This is the Bob Marley's Lamb's Bread. Oh yeah. The wide variety of cannabis available, edibles, hybrids, indica, sativa, waxes, hash, can be confusing. Not only are there thousands of varieties, but every grower produces wildly different versions of the same flower. Probably grew to five to six feet tall before it actually flowered. As a dispensary manager, it is imperative that you acquire the best cannabis available. This series will help you identify and assess the quality of several popular strains. Taking you behind the scenes at marijuana Marijuana dispensaries around the U.S., every lesson will help novice and experienced cannabis professionals design and execute an efficient business and legal strategy. It is valid. Each lesson is followed by a test covering the major points. As you watch, words will appear on screen in boxes like this. Everything in the boxes will be covered on the test. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing today? Doing great. I would like to sign up as a new member. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome to Clockwork Wellness. Your there's my rec and my ID. Your ID. Thank you. And there's paperwork behind you on the desk. Great. So very nice collective as far as the lobby goes. Looks like we got a good size. Got enough chairs for about six, seven people. Um, I am going to go sign up and uh, become a member of their collective. What this is, is this is a membership agreement. In California, we are all collectives or nonprofit associations. So what that means is we have to actually sign up, give them our name and doctor's information, and any information that's, uh, that's pertinent to the group. Right, so the first thing when we come into a collective in the state of California is we always have to give our doctor's recommendation as well as our California ID. In addition to that, we have to fill out a membership application and agreement. What that is is just our basic information, our name, address, and contact information. It also gives us all the rules of the collective, such as not distributing to any other um, non-members of the collective, as well as um, our different abilities and what we can do for the collective. So for instance, in this case, I, I'm interested in either cash funds or trading my, um, my skilled or unskilled labor, um, and I do have office expertise. So I'm gonna go ahead and check some of these different boxes that pertain to me and uh, get everything signed and ready to go for them. Each collective usually will have an attorney on staff, and it's important to work with the attorney to cover any of the needs within your given city. Each city will have different guidelines that a collective has to follow to become legal and follow attorney general guidelines. So it is important that you do read what you are signing, but they will usually cover the different things as far as being a cultivating member and having excess medication that you'd like to, to reimburse the collective for. Um, also, you know, on-site consumption will vary from, from collective to collective, which means obviously your uh, membership agreements will vary. Um, for this one gives no on-site consumption, it is uh, prohibited at this location, where others down the street would possibly have a hash bar or uh, on-site medication. So they will vary, so definitely read what you're signing and uh, understand what this collective is about before you decide to join. As far as confidentiality goes with the membership agreement, Cannabis and medicinal marijuana is really not covered by the HIPAA guidelines as far as it is still a Schedule One narcotic and, and doesn't fall within those federal guidelines. But any collective should keep all of your uh, membership information private, um, shouldn't even be scanned and kept off site. Um, we try to uh, minimize the amount of uh, sensitive information that's left here at the collective. It, it's important to know where your information's at at all times. Uh, this is asking if it's um, if I'm actually a law affiliated with any law enforcement, and if so, which law enforcement agencies, and if I have a primary caregiver designation. And what that means is if I actually am responsible for taking care of a, another patient that maybe didn't have the access to a, a, to be able to come to the collective. And let's see. And at the bottom, this actually goes through. Um, the verification process for the collective to make sure that my, my recommendation has been verified and is a legitimate uh, California recommendation. Here you are, sir. Thank you very much. So now that I receive his information, um, I will go to the website of calmmp.ca.gov. It is valid. 
I will run him into our system. Simply by such, entering his fields. There he is. And I will copy his license and recommendation as such. Mr. Blood Whisperer, sir. Please, welcome to the collective and come on in. Okay, thank you.